If you saw my last video, you saw that the CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen, closed his two-hour keynote being flanked by 10 different humanoid robots on stage, all NVIDIA partners using their Thor platform. These were holograms or something like that, but these are robots. For example, this one is already doing some tasks and BYD says it is going to use NVIDIA drive platform. It's basically a car computer and it's the same type of thing Tesla used to buy from NVIDIA before moving to their own chips. So NVIDIA versus Tesla. Goldman Sachs published this research note about phases for the AI trade and I think it's important to understand these to really realize how much is Tesla competing with NVIDIA? This is going to be a bit of a deep dive, but I think it's important to understand. So let's begin. The success of NVIDIA does not harm Tesla. To the contrary, it validates the AI strategy that Tesla has been executing years before all the hype began. It's funny to see many suggest that NVIDIA sales and profits shooting up like a rocket is a bad thing. Full disclosure, Omar has large positions in both NVIDIA and Tesla. As Goldman Sachs points out in a recent note, the rise of NVIDIA has been entirely earnings driven with little to no expansion of forward multiples. The stock is up because they are making a boatload of money and sales are growing like crazy. But the growth of NVIDIA represents just the tip of the iceberg, the first phase of the AI trade. Looking further ahead, Goldman notes that investors are now thinking about the next stages of the AI trade. The first phase of explosive earnings growth was in NVIDIA. Why? Because everyone needs NVIDIA chips to create these cutting edge AI models. These models will transform the world, but they need to be created first. That's why you are seeing huge sales growth in training compete preceding huge earnings growth from the actual AI models themselves. The second phase of earnings growth will come from the infrastructure providers. These are the customers of NVIDIA like the cloud service providers, semiconductor firms, data centers, utilities, etc. who will make money from that boom in AI training. Cloud service providers would not buy NVIDIA chips if they did not believe they could make even more money renting those chips out. Therefore, you would expect to see revenue in this second phase to be some multiple of the revenue NVIDIA is bringing in. The third phase will be AI-enabled revenues. These are companies that are able to leverage AI customers of the cloud service providers and infrastructure players, or maybe customers of NVIDIA directly, these companies will find a way to incorporate AI into their products that deliver faster earnings growth. As with the infrastructure players, they would not spend billions of dollars on infrastructure and training compete if they didn't think they could make even more billions with the AI features they are building. Tesla is one of the companies in this third phase. It is a business that has been set up to leverage this wave of AI growth in ways that will be transformative to the product lineup as we move into this third phase. I would expect to see Tesla top and bottom line growth on par with or exceeding what we are seeing from Nvidia today. Phase four is productivity gains. This earnings growth will be seen by virtually every company that uses AI enabled products. The phase four companies are customers of the phase free products. They use these AI enabled products to make more money than they could have before. For example, let's say I'm a business that buys a bunch of autonomous Tesla vehicles or robots and has them do work for me. It could be some ordinary guy or some ordinary business, but they could still see huge earnings growth. Think about the lawyer who can now use AI to work on a case, get better results, and have more billable hours with less staff. In the final phase, the benefits are extremely broad-based. This is why I laugh at people who point to NVIDIA's growth as a problem for Tesla. Tesla is an NVIDIA customer for many years, though they are increasingly using their own chip designs. Their businesses do not have much overlap today. The success of NVIDIA should be celebrated by all and is a sign that we are entering a new industrial revolution that will drive earnings growth across the economy in multiple phases, as I have outlined in this post. Jason commented on Omar's post, the later the phase, the more leveraging of AI to solve problems, the more money to be made. This is just the beginning of massive growth in AI related technologies. It feels like 1993 when this browser was launched, enabling more people to use the internet, networking, hardware protocols like TCP and HTTP browsers and ISPs 
provided the initial growth phase, then Google's search engine Cash Cow, which was built on top of everything previously mentioned and was stage four, came later. Whoever provides the final interface to the user will apply the most leverage of all underlying technology stages. Three and four will likely leverage not only the overall growth trend of AI, but all of the productivity gains of lower stages. NVIDIA will likely leverage later stages as well, so it's not just a stage one company, but the extent to which it does this is unclear. NVIDIA currently holds significant influence and foresight in the direction of this entire industry, whereas developers of the internet's early technologies did not focus on search engines technology such as Google's PageRank algorithm. Tesla will be both stage three and four, in my opinion, possibly also stage two, and will also replace billions of hours of human driving. Aside from the lives, say the math behind the value created by Tesla to replace the billions of hours of human driving is truly astronomical. Economical. And then, of course, there's the Tesla bot. And the thing is, Tesla is actually really good at manufacturing. A lot of these companies that are working on bots, human and robots, their expertise is not in manufacturing, but Tesla has already built up that expertise and Tesla is also good at software. That combination of skills is extremely rare and that combination is absolutely lethal. And on top of all of that, Tesla is still operated like a startup, giving it further advantage over other companies. And I think it is really obvious at this point that human robots will actually work. Look at this one. It puts the things in the blender. And keep in mind, this is just the beginning. Imagine what this is going to look like five years from now, 10 years from now, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. Not only will it be mixing all of these things, it will be doing all of that really fast and while possibly multitasking and doing a bunch of other things. Imagine a robot with 10 arms. It's a bit scary. I would rather have um, two hands because it looks maybe a bit more friendly. I don't want them to look like a spider. Just, I don't know. I wouldn't feel at ease. But yeah, it uh, served a this cup. Pretty good. In an interview with Lex Freeman, Sam Allman teases a new model release. Perhaps it's going to be GPT-5. That's it for today's video. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.